Welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here's your latest for Friday, November 8th, 2024. The Ethereum Foundation releases its 2024 report. Fileverse releases a DEFCON collab portal. BlockScal launches a merits program. And Puffer Finance launches its Unify-based rollup on Testnet. All this and more starts right now. The Ethereum Foundation published its 2024 report outlining its nonprofit role in supporting the Ethereum ecosystem through funding, development, and education. Guided by three core values, long-term thinking, subtraction, and the stewardship of open source values, the Ethereum Foundation aims to enable sustainable ecosystem growth. The report details spending allocations and treasury holdings, noting that the Ethereum Foundation allocated $105 million in 2022 and $134 million in 2023 across internal teams and broader ecosystem initiatives. The Ethereum Foundation's treasury stands at $970 million, with a majority of it held in ETH. The report also highlights a new conflict of interest policy which sets guidelines for Ethereum Foundation members to manage and disclose conflicts of interest. Fileverse, an on-chain file sharing platform, launched the DEFCON Collab Portal, a community hub for DEFCON Southeast Asia attendees to build and access a communal knowledge base. The hub allows users to create posts, message other attendees directly, browse talks, submit resources, and explore details about DEF CON community hubs. With support for decentralized identities like ENS, users can easily connect their wallet and interact with each other while retaining control over their digital identity. Fileverse offers a range of tools for managing on-chain files, including uploading, sharing, setting privacy options, and making files accessible through IPFS. BlockScout launched the BlockScout Merits Program, a gamified rewards initiative aimed to incentivize user engagement in open-source decentralized block exploration. Users can earn merits by completing daily tasks, joining campaigns, using BlockScout tools like SwapScout, and referring friends. In addition to merits, users can earn NFT badges with varying rarities awarded for special achievements. The badges can then be displayed in the merits dashboard or traded in secondary markets. BlockScout plans to introduce a leaderboard and partner campaigns aiming to help users learn and explore BlockScout. And lastly, Puffer Finance launched its Unify Layer 2 based rollup solution on Testnet, initially open to builders. Unify provides sub second transaction speeds and near instant asset withdrawals from Layer 2 to Layer 1. As a based rollup, Unify uses Ethereum Layer 1 validators for transaction sequencing. In the mainnet release, Buffer plans to introduce atomic composability, allowing users to execute instant cross-layer interactions between Layer 1 and Layer 2 within a single Ethereum block. In other news, Sky Protocol will maintain its Sky brand, DEFCON distributes waitlist tickets, and Eclipse goes live on mainnet. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you after DEFCON.